So around two years ago, I made a video titled Ranking All the Smash Ultimate Legend Spirits. And chances are, you likely saw that video. Heck, it's the third most popular video on my channel, and to this day, I'm still proud of the conclusions in that video. I think the choices are still in the right positions, and I still think it holds up to this day. With that being said, that video was in 2022, and it's now 2024. And for some reason, new spirits have been added to this ever-expanding crossover series. This includes spirits that hail from first-party to third-party titles, and most of them can provide a new challenge. Whether that's fair or not is up to you to decide. But along with the nine new A spirits I'm gonna have to tackle in the future, along also came three new Legend spirits. Those being Raru from The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Karidon Maridon from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and Peach and Stella from Princess Peach Showtime. And I think it's obvious we're gonna rank these three new spirits. Before I dive in, I should clarify a few things before I start the review. Number one, I'm fighting these spirits without using my own spirits. This provides the best challenge possible and gives a chance with every fighter on the roster. And number two, this will be judged the same way as all the other spirits in the previous ranking video. From the easiest to hardest, why the fight is so difficult, and some general tips on how to handle these fights. I'll also try to put these in the original ranking list and see how they fit in there. With all that out of the way, here is the three new Legendary Spirit Battle Rankings in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. God, I really gotta figure out how to shorten titles. So let's start by talking about the quote-unquote easiest fight out of the three. Peach and Stella from Princess Peach Showtime. The spirit has you facing against Peach and an accurately sized Kirby on Luigi's Mansion. The enemy favors up smash and hostile assist trophies will spawn in. A neat touch is that the fact that each of the assist trophies that spawn in represent Peach's many different roles she plays in the game. It's kind of nice. Now that might seem pretty tame, but in actuality, it's fairly challenging. The difficulty lies in a few major factors. The first thing is, well, Kirby's size. As in, the creature is way too small. It feels like swatting a fly with a pair of chopsticks. And also, it is really eager to go out for edge guards, Like, deep edge guards. And secondly, the assist trophies. They also are very troubling. First one that spawns is Lin, which only does a one-hit KO with her one move after a few seconds. Not that bad. Then the second off is Chef Kawasaki, which only has two moves and moves pretty slow, but again, he hits like a truck. And Akira, who is one of the main reasons why this spirit is so frustrating. Because, like, why can't he block my attacks when no other assist trophies can? It's frustrating. But honestly, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that before the assist trophy actually spawns, there's a small pause that happens right before they spawn in. Which only happens in this spirit battle, and I don't know why. See what I mean? It may not seem as bad, it's only for about a few frames, but trying to time something like Incineroar's a Lolan Whip, and then come crying to me about it. Honestly, the best strategy is to try your best to edgeguard the Peach first, since she only likes doing up smash. You know, sometimes. She's easy to rack up damage on, then you worry about the assist trophies. Lin is the simplest one to deal with. It's after a few seconds when she spawns in after she breathes, then you can spam air dodge or fog dodge, then you'll most likely avoid her. Kawasaki is the second easiest, just assault him under the platform or on the ledge and you'll be pretty good. It's Akira that is the problem, because he is also from a fighting game, they have a block, remember? Also, the game doesn't really tell you this, but Kirby will also only use neutral air and nothing else. But still, be mindful of Kirby's power, otherwise you'll die from 100 from a strain there. Heavy hitters are the best for the spirit. Gandorf, Incineroar, King Deity. But the characters with good edge guarding like Meta Knight and the Pits also have a good chance of fighting this spirit. Overall, Peach and Stella are tough, but not impossible. I still think they are pretty challenging. I put them in the hard category of spirits, so around like the mid-20s range of the list. Around fights like Dark Matter and Pauline. Yeah, this is the easy one, by the way. Let's move on to the next one. Well now, looks like I'm back to the Scarlet and Violet games again, huh? Who would've guessed? 
Anyways, the second hardest is Karaidon and Maridon. You're up against a giant Charizard and a giant Ridley, with them having a screw attack item on Final Destination. The floor is electrified, the enemy has increased attack power temporarily, and they love the jump. Huh, that's even more fitting. The problem is immediately noticeable. The floor is electrified, meaning that you'll be stunned and take damage on the floor. Sometimes. Yeah, the electric floors are very weird. Sometimes you get stunned once, sometimes you get stunned twice, sometimes you don't even get stunned at all. It's a timing thing and I don't really understand it. And since you can't stay on the ground for too long, you'll have to retreat to the air. And these guys took a college class to the intro of fighting game. They mash like hell. Seriously, if an attack button isn't pressed in the last two seconds, it will make it their mission to mash the button. World of Light players may tremble in fear when they see a fight similar to the massive nuisance known as the Great Zapfish. But fear not, there are strategies. Okay, different strategies. Most of the time when the match starts, Charizard will jump and Floor Blitz off the stage, and if you can successfully edgeguard him there and make it back to the stage, all you have to worry about is Ridley, and you could try and bait him going off stage too. And if you don't get outmatched by the Great Space Dragon, you can edgeguard him too. They both have pretty linear recovery, so it's not too bad when you go off stage. So characters like Jigglypuff, Meta Knight, and Kirby have a much better time dealing with these sandwich-loving dragons. Alternatively, since they match religiously, you can try to opt for a character with a counter. Like Lutina, Palutena, and Sora work quite well with this. Hell, I beat this spirit with Ganondorf, a character with one of the worst recoveries in the game. You may ask why it's so significantly tougher than Peach and Stella. Well, the main reason is just the pure luck factor. Sometimes Charizard doesn't even start off with a Flare Blitz, and you kind of have to, well, work on the fly when that happens. Sure, there's more solutions that can be solved to this, but the sheer amount of RNG needed for a run solid enough to kill both Maridon and Maridon is pretty crazy. And that's why I would like to put this spirit around the extreme category of spirits. Preferably around the legendary bird spirits and the squid sister spirits. If this spirit looks insane, just wait until you see the last one we're talking about. A spirit that is so difficult that I haven't even seen anyone on YouTube beat it without a spirit. You know, without these two at least. So let's talk about Raru. Aside from being known for the one guy you stole an arm from in Tears of the Kingdom, and for definitely not being attractive, no no no, I'm a normal person, trust me! Raru is a beast, and it's not even close. This spirit involves you facing seven different opponents. It starts with a 1v4 against the characters that represent each character Link joins in the game. Inkling and Sidon, Robin as Riju, Charizard as Unobo, and Pit as Tulin. After one is defeated, a giant Rob representing Mineru comes down to fight, and after defeating the second fighter, Zelda as... well, herself, also comes down to fight. And if you kill all six of them, Mewtwo as Raru will come down and fight with one last showdown. Now, it's obviously apparent that you have to face get seven fighters, that's a lot, but you haven't even heard the conditions yet. It's a stamina battle, meaning that you only have 150 HP, so you can't live up to 300 to live longer. Your HP is zero, you're dead. No exceptions. The second thing is the stage, the battlefield variant of a temple. You have nowhere to hide, maybe except for like the top platform in the ledge. And third, the AI will assault you with projectiles. Well, Charizard uses Flare Blitz, but you get the idea. England also uses the Splat Gun, Robin uses Thunder, and Pit uses his arrows. It's fitting, but damn if it isn't annoying! Pit especially with the arrows. Imagine Wolf Blaster, but faster and can move freely, and is a damn marksman. But all that is NOTHING compared to Rob and its disgusting range. What is with the hardest, most frustrating spirits in the game? Why is he always there? Why is it ALWAYS ROB when I have to face against these spirits? The reason why Rob is so annoying here is because it doesn't just spam one move, it uses all of them. Even the game literally says you use one move. One combo that will get on your nerves quickly is Nair to Up Bear, which is true against all characters and does like 50 HP. Yeah, that's fun. Also, Down Tilt is fun. Don't you love it when Rob uses Down Tilt? Anyway, Zelda is also another point of frustration. Not only has she has 70 HP like Rob, but also isn't restricted to only using one special. 
At least she isn't that big, so that's good at least. And if you miraculously manage to get to Mewtwo, it'll sometimes abide by these rules. Like from far away, it'll use Shadow Ball, but up close? Yeah, that rule breaks, and I don't know why. It doesn't help that most of these characters have good recoveries, meaning that you have to go deep for your edge guards. Combine all of that, all of it, with the other aspects about this fight make this easily one of the hardest spirits, nay, one of the hardest battles in Smash Bros. history. Are there any good strategy against this accursed fight? Well, you have some option. Like, the AI is quite odd, so Charizard could probably spam Flare Blitz off the stage. You know, that happens. Robin doesn't have the best recovery eight either, so you could probably edge guard her. And Inkling doesn't pose too much of a threat. It's mainly the other four that causes too much trouble. I had a various good amount of runs with seemingly odd characters, like Rosalina, Ness, K. Rule. Heck, if you are good enough, you could probably juggle them up the top, but that requires a ton of luck not to take too much damage when coming down. I mean, you could also just use Iker Chrom for this fight. I would love to see a cheesy strat that actually works with any other character. But otherwise, this is by far the hardest Legend Spirit out of the three. Top 10, maybe even top 5 of all hard spirits of all time. To justify my rage, here's my counter argument. Remember the spirit Heroes Comrades? It's also a stamina battle against 7 opponents too, but at least there, it, it has like 4 miniature fights and they have the generosity to give you healing items. Raru is different, they don't offer you any items! And it's still that crazy. So I hope you brought a stress ball for this fight, otherwise you might lose an arm with all that stress. And that's the new Legendary Spirit Battles reviewed and ranked. Sorry if this video was shorter than most, but hey, people were asking for it. And hopefully these are the last spirits in the game I have to cover, but they might just release more later on after like a future direct. But with that, I end on this. All these fights of legendary spirit battles may be difficult, but the 13 Sentinel pilots are much, 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 much harder than any single one of this. Trust me, no amount of therapy can get these guys out of my head.